Hi. Now what I want to do is just introduce you to this result here which you're going to need on occasions when dealing with trigonometry. We've got the cosine or cos of any angle theta whether it's in degrees or radians is equal to the cos of minus that angle. And when it comes to the trigonometric function sine of an angle, sine theta is always equal to minus sine of that negative angle. So do try and learn this result. Now if you want some kind of proof on this, then it's based on this idea that if we go back to our quadrant diagram where in the first quadrant any angle between 0 and 90 degrees all three trig ratios sine cos and tan of that angle will be positive. In the second quadrant between 90 degrees and 180 degrees only sine is positive and then 90 to 270 tan is positive and from 270 to 360 cosine is positive. So this is basically our quadrant rule. Now I've taken some diagrams here where we've got acute angles, obtuse angles and in these two diagrams I've taken reflex angles and you can see I've drawn the negative counterpart okay for each of the ones above. So when it comes to taking the cosine say of an acute angle here, the cosine of any acute angle would be in the first quadrant and its trig ratio would be positive. Cosine will always return a positive value. When you do the cosine of a negative angle you'll get exactly the same value because cosine in the fourth quadrant is always positive. So you can see we get exactly the same value. But when it comes to taking the sine of this acute angle, in the first quadrant it's positive, but in the fourth quadrant the sine of a negative angle is negative. Only cosine is positive. So in order for these two to be the same for taking the sine, we have to negate this answer. So if we do sine of this angle, it's equal to minus the sine of this angle down here. And the same kind of argument is true for each of these diagrams. You might want to just work your way through them. But essentially for this one here, this obtuse angle, Cosine would be negative for it in the second quadrant because only sine is positive. But when you take the negative angle, can you see it puts us in the third quadrant and cosine is negative in this quadrant. So cosine is negative in both the this quadrant and this quadrant. So they would still be equal to one another. The cosine of theta is equal to the cosine of minus theta. But when it comes to the sine, the sine of this angle in the second quadrant is positive but when we take the sine of the negative angle here in the third quadrant here because tan is the only one that's positive sine will be negative. So they're not exactly the same unless I put a minus in the front of this one so we get this rule again here. And it's true in this diagram because if we take theta here Hopefully you can see that the cosine of an angle here in the third quadrant is negative, only tan is positive. When we take it round this way, cosine is again negative when it's in this quadrant. So both will be negative but return exactly the same answer. So cos theta will equal cosine minus theta. For sine, sine in this quadrant okay is going to be negative but when we reverse it in the other direction the sign in this quadrant is going to be positive. So they're going to have opposite signs but to make them exactly the same I just have to negate this answer. And finally in this quadrant here cosine of theta 
is going to be positive. When I reverse it around the other direction, we're in the first quadrant, cosine is positive. So they're going to return exactly the same answer. When it comes to sine, sine in the fourth quadrant is negative. When I reverse it, sine in the first quadrant is positive. They have opposite signs, but to make them equal, I have to negate it. Okay, well, I hope that gives you some idea then of this result. And a good way also to check that it works is to take any angle. Take any angle, I don't know, say 100 degrees. Cosine 100 degrees should equal cosine of minus 100 degrees. Just check it out on your calculator. Sine of 100 degrees should equal minus the sine of minus 100 degrees. Okay, well, as I say, I hope this gives you some idea. And that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.